Hello, you are watching Content with Candace. On this channel, I do handbag reviews and unboxings. In this video, I will show you what fits in the John Michelle Basquiat hexagonal crossbody. I am currently carrying this bag, and as I've said before in my previous videos, I reserve my small bags for travel bags. If you are used to carrying a bigger bag, when you first attempt to put your items in this bag, you're probably going to say, oh my gosh, what's going on? This bag is too small. Because it is a small bag, and it's a lot smaller than what I normally carry, but it's just right for my needs as far as my travel needs. Because when I travel, I like to carry a smaller bag. I don't like carrying bigger bags. This bag is easy to carry. This bag is a light bag. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what fits in this bag. If you want to see an unboxing of this bag, please tune into my channel, Content with Candace, and you will see an unboxing of this bag in a previous video. And in an unboxing video, you are also going to more details about the measurements and that kind of thing. But this video, I'm only gonna concentrate on what fits inside the bag. So, let me show you what I had to leave out of the bag, first of all, so you can see what all got left out. All of these items got left out of this bag. And this is, I'm currently, of course, filming on my cell phone, so my cell phone case got left out. If you watch the unboxing, uh, of this bag, you will clearly see that I was able to put my cell phone case in that first pouch, but that's because I had no other items in there. And when I tried to put this in with other items, it got kind of tight. These are my regular carry items that I normally carry, my headache medicine, my lotion, my Lysol, Tom's lip product. So that got left out as well. And then the other thing that got left out of what I normally carry are these items too. A couple of checkbooks, a stack of coupons, all of that stuff got left out. Okay, so all of this here got left out of the bag from what I normally carry. But I decided that that's okay because I don't really need those items anyway when I'm traveling. I normally carry those in a travel bag. And this right here is just fine for my needs as I travel. Okay, so we're gonna see what fits in this bag. Uh, like I said, if you wanna see the unboxing, go ahead and check out my previous video. I've always discovered I don't like stuff in my bag. I want the bag to maintain its natural shape. And this is a structured bag, so I want this bag to maintain that shape. So that's why um, I kind of err on the small side when it comes to putting items in this bag because I want to be able to close without losing its shape. And as you can see right now, the bag pretty much has maintained its shape. And that's what I like. I like to take very good care of my bags. I don't want them bulging out and stuff so to the point where they're losing their shape. So let's see what fits inside this bag. And then we'll look at what else we can put inside this bag. I'm gonna unzip. This is the front portion of it. I'll just unzip so you can see everything inside the bag and what it looks like. And of course, I'm gonna take the items out so you can see that as well. I have my keys. Take those out my pen and my pencil, my card case, and then I have a check register in there, and my earbuds, and then also, I'm not gonna pull this out, but you see I have my eyeglass cleaning cloth in there as well. So that is what I have on the front side of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those items back in, and now I'm gonna show you what actually fits in the back of the bag, so you can see that as well. That fits very, very comfortably. These items all fit comfortably in the front portion of this bag. Now let's look at the back side of the bag and see what fits 
in the back portion. Now the back portion is not as wide as the front portion. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that up front. I was able to get my wipes in, that, in the back portion because they're somewhat flat and I've almost used them up. So that was one of the reasons I was able to get that in there. But notice I had to fold them like that to get them in the bag. My hand sanitizer got in there okay. Again, I had to fold this down so that the hand sanitizer would fit in the bag, okay? And then my little files got in there okay. And my little cards got in there okay. And my Kleenex got in there okay. And this is a partially used pack of Kleenex. So that's probably a reason why I had no issues. My lip product was in there okay. And my screwdriver fit in there okay. A little small screwdriver. And then a lens wipe was able to get in there just fine. And that is all I have in the back of the bag. Hold on, drop my nail file. Okay, so that's all I had in the back of that bag there. So now what I'm gonna do is put these items back in the bag and then we're gonna see what else I can fit in there that I can accommodate inside this bag on both sides, the back and the front. Okay, but like I said, the items that I have in the bag helps us to close very neatly and nicely so that nothing bulges out so now i gotta be real organized again and put these items back in the bag notice i stick my hand sanitizer right in that little spot right there so that it won't be bulging out because when i put the hand sanitizer down below it kind of left a bulge so it's gonna be a let's see i'm gonna put the screwdriver on the bottom of the bag i'm gonna stick these cards I'll slide that in there like that. Okay, so let's see if I got it back in so I can close it up without any issues. Okay, it closed up without any issues. So there it is, all closed up. Love this little bag. Okay, now let me show you now what else I can fit in there. But like I said, this is about all I would carry personally. But for those of you that want to carry more, let's see. Let's see if the Toms get in there. And this is just an individual white. Let's see if I can fit that in there. And let's buy out the little good product. Let's see if I can fit that in the front. And let's, here is my uh, Lysol spray. Let me see if I can get it closed. Okay, now I got that in there. So it does hold more, but like I said, you can kind of see how it's kind of bulging a little bit. And you can kind of see like it's dented on the sides here. See, I don't like that. So I wouldn't carry that in that front pouch, but just so you know, you could carry the extras in that front pouch. So I'm gonna take all these items back out and let's see what extra I can fit in the back pouch. So let me get all that extra stuff out of there. Cause I wouldn't carry all that extra stuff in there like that cause I do not want my bag to be all stretched out. I want it to be able to easily open and close. Now that's back to my normal carry for a bag this size. Okay, so we're gonna now Look at the back pocket, and as you can see from early, that's what I have in there. Let's see what I can fit in there in the back pocket. Well, these items are too big. They won't get clothes in there. Let's try it and see. There's my headache medicine. I could probably shove it in there, but then it wouldn't be good to close it, so I'm gonna take that out. What about my lotion? I had to do without my lotion in this bag. I could get a smaller container of it and get it to fit. I can probably shove that in there and push it together and close it, but that wouldn't be good. So let's look at something else that may fit in there. So, hmm, 
My little lip product, I probably can get that inside. My Lysol again probably would fit back here. And let's try to close it and see what happens. Well, it fits. A little bit stretchy, but it does fit. Okay, so as you can see, although I, I personally do not want to carry a lot in it, I choose to carry a little less than its normal capacity. And if you watch my previous handbag videos on content with Candace, you will see that I don't stuff my bags. I carry a little less than a normal capacity. Thank you for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.